Hey everybody, how the heck are ya? I'm Fastidious and welcome to my channel. It is day 107 in the free to play series and we didn't really do anything of note today. I guess except pull a legendary champion. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's right guys. We pulled Genzin from the Shadowkin faction. I wasn't going to make you guess. There's no clickbait here. We pulled a legendary champion. His name is Genzin. He's from the Shadowkin. We got him. He's ours. I'm excited. Let's hop on in. Fastidious. Fastidious. Here we go, guys. It is day 107 in the free to play series. So we got Genzin. How do we do it? We got the 2x on sacred shards. How many sacred shards do we have? I'll put a clip up above me from the stream earlier before we hop into the actual stream footage. I actually had three chances, three sacred shards. One of those came from clan boss, guys. So if you need extra motivation, it's muted because I was blasting some 2014 Calvin Harris on stream. Uh, but yeah, you can just see how excited I was because it's a free sacred shard. So Nightmare Clan Boss, something really cool. All right, let's hop into the actual footage of when we were pulling on stream and we got real lucky. All right. Let's go. It is 2x on sacred shards. You're thinking to yourself, boy oh boy, what does 2x on sacred shards mean? Hmm, let's have a think. Well, it means double the chance. So we've got only an 88% chance to get an epic, not the usual 94. That means we got 12% instead of 6% chance to get a legendary. We've got three shots, 12%. We're nowhere close to pity. We pulled, we only pulled these once in a blue moon, every six weeks or whatever. We pulled Elegaeus from a sacred shard. Um, which was like three polls ago, even though it was like two months ago. So here we go. Maybe not two months ago, maybe a month and a half ago. But here we go, we got three chances. I'm clearly procrastinating. Let's slap, let's dap. Let's have a clap. Nope, it's an epic. Who is it though? Lich, all right, we already have him. The one we need for the Ross infusion is uh, Blood Feather. I've already fused the Lich, but why not? Pretty neat that uh, he's not the worst undead in the world. He's He's kind of helpful. He's got a turn meter reduction, right? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, turn, meter, turn meter reduction. All right, I got two more chances here. Whoa! Whoa, baby! Let's go! Woo! Okay, so sacreds on this account are a beautiful thing. Wow, and I, I Genzin is one of the cooler champions. He's not one of the best champions. But gosh darn if he ain't cool. We're going to talk about him a whole bunch in a second, but wow. I'm sorry if I don't seem more excited. I'm just kind of just shocked. <laughs> like, I've seen gold once every two months between two different accounts. So I just... <laughs> what the heck? That's amazing. That's amazing. My Shadowkins are off the chain, man. My Shadowkins are so good. I already have two level 60 Shadowkins. You know I'm bringing this guy to 60. Uh, this little unique boy over here. Uh, we're going to talk about his kit in one second. Let's keep it going. We have one more chance. I'm, I'm going to do it. We already are at 750 champ chase points towards, uh, you know, getting the Michaelis for the, uh, for the Herndig. Uh, but let's do it. One more. Why not? Wow. Okay. Another epic, obviously. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, Zipster in the chat said that you're going to get a lot of fusion epics. I think he meant like Siege Hulk and, and Gory and things like that. I don't know if he meant Rosin Fusion Epics, but we got two Rosin Fusion Epics. We can't complain because we got the sweet little boy, Genzin. Ooh la loo, our second legendary pull ever on the account. I'm just a little speechless. Um, so he's attack based, but this guy is cool. We're gonna start with the passive. It helps understand his whole kit. Um, actually, no, it doesn't. I'm, not, I'm thinking the wrong thing here. Let's go into it. You got a triple hit on the A1. Each hit fills this champion's tournament by 6%. It's too bad the Fire Knight tournament's going on right now, and I actually already finished it, which you guys are going to see in a second. I actually already finished it, but this guy could be great there. Perfect affinity for it. We got a triple hitter. He got a little turn meter fill. So he's got all this turn meter manipulation on himself. I thought he had a turn meter effect where he gets more turn meter on his passive. Uh, increases this champion's speed. Uh, Bushido increases this champion's speed by 10 and resists by 50 if there are fewer champions on this champion's team than that on the number of the enemy's team. So, I mean, that's only really gonna happen if you're losing champs or if you're in the spider, but whatever. Um, let's go here, we saw the triple hitter. Each hit it has, uh, pretty cool. Each hit just fills the champion's turn meter. That's cool, you know, no condition about it. This is a legendary champion, just do it. 18%, three hits, six apiece, 18%, give it to me. Then we got an AOE, I, AOE with decreased defense, very good. Um, we have so many decreased defense champions. It is the hardest thing to get like in the world 
but somehow we're getting them left and right. It used to be. Now it's easy. There's so many options. 100% chance. Three drink cooldown went booked. Really cool. Um, yeah, this is why I love Genshin. He's the turn cycling machine. 100% chance. Big version DPC defense. AOE for two turns. Um, we book it out. Three turn cooldown. Like I just said, each each critical hit feels fills this champion's turn meter by 10%. If you got five enemies, right? 50% turn meter fill. Because you're going to mill this guy with 100% crit because he's a slapper. Yeah, our, our scene in the chat saying this turns basically the, this move is basically a free turn in the spider. This guy's gonna kill the spider. It's, it's this is awesome. This is a really cool champ. I'm gonna 60 him. I would probably like to book him, and we're basically done with Brogni. So I think he might be. I think it's gonna be fun. He's like a newer champion, unique champion. It's very cool. Very cool. He's selfish, but in a good way. Now here we go. Attacks one enemy. Will ignore unkillable and shield buffs. Ooh. Why don't we kill a couple of? Swift parry champions, why don't we kill a skull crown while we're at it? Amazing if we want to bring in the arena. Fills this champion by champion's turn by 30%. So if we're doing the math, you're right. You get 18% on the A1, 6 per hit on a triple hitter. Um, you're getting 50% if you've got uh, five enemies, like our scene set in the chat. Um, with the spider, um, you know, you got all the spiderlings out. If you got a full little thing of spiderlings, you're getting 10 hits. You're getting full, for, full turn meter free turn, basically immediate turn cycle help reduce all those cooldowns i bet you this guy might even work without books um and then we got uh tax ignore unkillable and shield buffs fills this champion's turn meter by 30 percent fills it by 60 percent instead of the target has 50 percent hp or less after this attack so that's going to be amazing like if you use them in the arena if you're using them on mob waves and you build them with tons of damage um whatchamacallit uh because they'll have less hp pools it won't work against, work against bosses unless um I, I wonder does this work if they already have less than 50 percent? i would assume it does you hit them they are at 40 percent. now they're at 35 percent. that's still less than 50 should work that's 60 percent uh turn meter it's crazy how quickly he's gonna cycle his turns if you book him out he's just pop 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 great tournament position and then if you kill someone also going to decrease the cooldown of steel parting and faded vengeance so that gives him utility on mob waves that gives him utility in the doom tower this guy's really cool if anyone wants to go way way back when i first talked about this champion this is i'm talking like episode 12 maybe i'll dig it up if i dig it up you'll see it above me no promises but i'll try to i was pretty amped about this guy and i'm very amped that he's on the team this is sweet very sweet he's gonna be a spider killer he is going to be a Fire Knight beast with all the turn cycling. I wonder if he's better without books for the Fire Knight. So you get more of the A1s. I don't know, but he's tremendous. Does his A3 work in clan boss? Now that is an amazing question. I bet it does. I'm going to have to watch videos on this guy. I'm not that familiar, but yeah, you just make sure, time it out so you're hitting the clan boss when the clan boss is already less um, than 50%. You're guaranteed uh, 60 every time this comes back around. And yeah, you're going to be turn, turn cycling like a madman. Uh, this is sweet. I'm not sure. He'd have to be going on. And it'd be hard to speed tune, though. I'd, I'd assume you'd be doing him on an unkillable team like that. But I bet you it could be done. Very cool champ. And we got him. That's crazy. Just seeing this and seeing two unlocked legendaries in the same faction. Granted, of course, Yoshi was a frag infusion. That's nutty. I'm, I'm freaking excited. That's sweet. That is sweet. I'm not buying anything. Free to play, Plarium. Get, get, take a hint, buddy. All right, cool. That was sweet. Wow, that is nuts. And guys, that's a thousand champ training points. All right, there you have it. You see, I wasn't as like crazy pumped as I've been in the past, just because I was so caught off guard. Like, it takes you know months and months and months of conditioning for me to just never expect it, but I really didn't. And I was just deer in the headlights. I know I just broke it down um, there, but let's just look at it one last time. Look at this little weirdo. Hey, you little funky face guy. What a strange man. Um, I'm excited, man. He's going to be great in the Fire Knight, great in the Spider. I think he's going to help the, really push the account. Um, is he going to be able to help us beat, like, Spider 20? Probably not, but uh, he's he's really good. Um, it'll be fun to build him, just straight up damage dealer. Um, I think he's also going to be, as I said uh, in my stream, I think, he's going to be great for Doom Tower waves and all that good, good kind of stuff. And, yeah, crazy that, that Shadowkin might be our best faction. Uh, anyway... Anyway, we got to talk about Herndig, my favorite, my good old boy Herndig. But before we do, would you looky here? <laughs> Tra la la. Claimity, claimity. And we're all done, baby. Fresh new thing. Guys, make sure, and I've done this, made this mistake in the past. I think a lot of us have. I was at exactly 275. Right before I started filming, 
uh, this portion of the video, I went into, uh, what was it, this one, fighting Tag Team Arena from a single affinity. I did that, that made me from 274 to 275. If I had kept going to Clan Boss Keys, uh, done some faction wars, blah, 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 I would have gotten no progress towards this next new page. So I would lose out on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight missions. It's crazy, right? I'd lose out on eight missions, so I'd be, uh, essentially I would be doing two, 283 instead of 275 for the next little bunch. We got a Lego book, pretty cool. Um, quick little Lego book check-in before we get into Herndig. Uh, we got four. We only need three more for Brognalicious, if I'm not mistaken. Makes the girls go loco. Um, yeah, so we already have one probably towards Genzin. Uh, I think he's really cool. I think it'll be fun to build. Um, I also might have mentioned it in the stream. I don't know, but he might be the kind of champion that doesn't need books. He's going to be, he's an absolute slapper. So you're going to want to put books on him probably for damage. There's 20% there, 15% uh, there. 25% there, that's crazy. Uh, but you see with the turn cycling, um, the chance to decrease uh, cooldowns, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, so much turn meter boost, he's gonna be running to these turn these uh, moves constantly, which effectively makes the cooldown shorter, right? But it will be a decision, let's talk about Herndig. So I mentioned OMG Click. I called it OMG Clicker, it's actually called OMG Click. Uh, if you have any questions about it after what I'm about to tell you, Please hit me up um, on Discord. I'd be happy to help. But oh my God, is this thing delightful. Uh, I have so many windows open. I don't know if, I, if I'm if i gonna be able to, uh, here, give me one second. Let's see, if does that mess with the visual? No, I don't think it does. All right, let me get all this stuff out of the way. Get, bear with me, guys. This is worth it, I promise. I just gotta open it up. Are you open, OMG Click? Cool, let's just do a scan so it knows that I'm here. All right, setting save, starting up. All right, let's stop. It's trying to trying to run an auto thing. All right, let's do it. This thing is, I held off. Uh, shout out to Buttness. He's been talking about it in my Discord for literally ever, as long as I can remember him him being a presence in there and in my life. Um, and I just figured it was, it was malware and he's just a bad guy. However, this thing works like an absolute charm. Um, I can do a full demo and other stuff, but the one thing I'll just show you right off the bat, hopefully this works and it doesn't... Uh, embarrass anything right now let's go to upgrade let's just pick a random thing um, i'm just gonna bring it to four i don't want to waste any levels so i'm gonna click it and i'm gonna click f11 bing bang boom now you see if i go back here the frame rate's all super glitchy and super slow i'll just click f11 again and we're back to normal you can't see me doing the click f11 we're on a tripod i can't move the camera uh, but it's just that easy let's look for just one more example i'm picking really weird gear here if you click it nice and slow nice and slow f11 sweet 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 it's the same effect that you see in blue stacks. I'm gonna click it again to make sure we're back at normal speeds. Um, are we, are we? Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that you see in blue stacks where you turn the frame rate down to 10. It does the same thing, but you don't have to, you know, manually go into the engine in the settings and, and edit it that way. You just click F11, squingy, swangy, swangy. It's fantastic. Um, it has other uses too, though, as an actual auto clicker. It's been amazing, and I can show more of this if you guys are curious. Um, amazing stuff for like, uh, when I was in campaign farming last night. However, it's essentially like unlimited auto battles, right? So with the way you get 30 auto battles, like I do free to play, or if you buy the raid pass, um, you can get 100. It just, it's just like that. And you can even set it to auto sell. So it's better than just a normal auto clicker because it knows to go sell and it can, I don't know how it does it, but it's registering. I made it sell only all the common and uncommon gear, obviously, which is all the gear when I'm campaign farming. And then I made it sell all the, the four star gear when I was farming Fire Knight. And how do we do? I knocked out the entire Fire Knight. If anyone saw yesterday's video, I hope a lot of you did. Uh, we had like over 1100 energy uh, because we picked up like 750 energy from our daily login. We had to claim all our end of day stuff. We had so much. That energy alone in one refill, I knocked the whole thing out. Not in one day. I knocked it out in like three hours just with an auto clicker. It was awesome. It's really great. I was playing MLB The Show. I've been playing that a lot more than Raid if I'm being honest lately. Really similar to kind of a gotcha style because it's like a collector and they have things that are kind of like fusions. That's a story for another day. But look at that, bing, bing, boom. Um, and we're done. I don't know if you guys saw right there, but when I clicked uh, whichever this champion is, I don't know if it's, it's, I know it's not. I know the names of the three other ones. There's Michaelis, Hellborn Sprite, Assassin, and then this guy. I do not remember the name, but this guy, which I'm pretty sure it popped up, plus 10 points. That's a great strategy. I wish I remember who shouted that out. I think maybe it was Dodgson, uh, Gr Grizzled Sentinel, uh, the YouTube viewer and member of my Discord. If it was you, let me know that I'm right. If it was someone else, I'm giving him credit for no reason. Let, 
That's bring that problem up with him. Uh, but they were like, you get more points for champ chase if you wait to claim your champions. I've never thought about it that way before, but it makes perfect sense. Champ training event. All right, there's nothing for us to grab here. Um, I guess that was here. Artifact enhancement. I was waiting. There's assassin, right? Watch this. Click assassin. Okay, it didn't work. But we definitely would have. There we go. Plus 10 tournament points. There, you saw it. Plus 10 tournament points. Um, another great way, just get some more points. Uh, for a Michaelis, uh, where we would get him from the champ chase, which I think we might have just finished because of that, that should be 50 points. Um, but you guys saw, we got 1,000 points. We got our two Rosin epics that we didn't need. What are the chances we get two Rosin epics, a permanent fusion, things that we already fused, right? We got an extra Lich and an extra Torture Helm. Um, and then the only thing we needed was actually Aaron, uh, not Aaron, yes, we have Aaron, yes, it was Bloodfeather or Chandler. We don't get either of that, of course. This, I have a feeling Rosin's gonna take a long, long while. Um, but that was good progress, and we're, we're all done with that. Let's check on the champ chase. Maybe you'll see that we can get, uh, 50 points if we're already done with it. I'm not sure. Should be pretty close. All right, so 1041. I've only opened, like, 20 mystery shards. I mean, I guess 21, and then those two, that, that, those rares I just collected there. But this is a is a void rare, so that'll be 50 points. That'll be pretty cool. Um, if it wasn't clear already, I do not have to fuse Ruel the Huntmaster, Ruel, and I won't. Uh, I'm just gonna wait, stay in for the next fusion. It's like just having a, like I said, break in case of emergency. This is clearly not an emergency. Uh, we're very much in control. If we do some math together, guys, I have 1041. Um, obviously, I'm gonna make sure I get to exactly 1150. Stick with me. This is gonna work out gorgeously. 1150. When we get to 1150, we claim Michaelis for 50 points. Avoid rare. That's 1200 points. Then we're gonna have one version already of each of the four rares. We'll level them up. We'll, we'll rank them up to rank four. We'll level them up to 40. We'll fully ascend them. We'll fuse them. We'll fuse Scathix. 350 points. 1200 plus 350. 1550, baby. Epic book. Only using our sacred shards. Um, the things we're claiming here. And then a handful, it's not going to be much, it, it, just a handful of uh, of mystery shots. It's going to come out to, yeah, so the three sacreds and a handful of mysteries, it's going to come out to, that's 109, I did I did 20 already, right? Um, or 21, so 109 plus 21, we're talking about 130, that's, that's, that's groovy. 130 mystery shards in my three sacreds. It took a little bit of luck, obviously. I pulled a legendary champion, which is nuts. Um, I also want to show you guys, we're just doing a full check-in, a full Herndig check-in. Um, classic arena takedown. Um, it's really easy when you're in gold four. So this is a reason to get to high gold, especially now with all the body, body madness. But you see, we are uh, basically done with it in, what? Not not even three quarters of a day. It's, it's really a joke. Um, but yeah, we're at another interesting spot where, uh, not that much to do. All I'm going to do is just auto click, auto click, auto click on the champ training event. You see, we're only at a thousand points. Of course we have what, uh, three and a half days left, three and a quarter days left. So I need to average about 3000 points a day moving forward, a little bit less than that to get Horferies. And you, you know, I'm going to do it. You know, I'll pull it off. Um, it'll be good. It just, this is just, uh, this fusion, man. It's, it's very relaxing. It's very good. Very nice. Uh, actually, I'm going to put a picture up right now. I made sure to do a screenshot. In fact, I did two key nightmare yesterday. First time ever doing that. Um, pretty cool accomplishment. And yeah, it was a very comfortable two key. Uh, put up like 46 million. We only needed 39.6. Uh, let's do uh, look for an arena battle. Let's see. Hopefully we don't get a bot page. Let's do a straight refresh. Um, cool. Okay. So this is, uh, this is a potential win here. This could be tricky. Let's check out their team power. Actually, thank you. Quality of life update right there. Um, actually perfect time. Quality of life update. This is a great new update. Wouldn't it be great if we had other raid content creators and community people to talk to? I'm going to be on the Saffron man. He's a cool guy in the raid community who has a podcast. Asked me to be on it. I'm going to be on with him and three other raid content creators tomorrow. Uh, I'm fil uh, we're filming, recording, whatever, podcasting tomorrow afternoon. I don't think it's a live thing, so I would assume it's probably coming out on Sunday. Um, but that's cool. So if you guys are a fan of his, uh, a fan of mine, maybe check it out. I'll put the screenshot up. Uh, not the screenshot, the thumbnail he made already to promote it. Uh, cute little thing. Uh, it's, it's a nice vibe. I guess I'm the trainee in this situation. I. That's interesting. Uh, it's fun. 
Um, but yeah, it should be fun to be part of. Um, the other people in it are Annette J, who's a streamer, I think out from Russia. Dirtbag Gaming, who if I'm not mistaken is another American YouTuber. And then I Am Steeman, who's a Scottish YouTuber. A big, big arena guy as well. So that should be fun. Um, cool little community participation. I will be partaking in. Uh, all right, let's look for a W. Let's try to track one down. Hmm. This all looks bad. I maybe try, I might just try this team. I mean, Tyrant's scary, but I don't think they're gonna be fast enough. If we can just take down Michal, or at least get our block debuffs up, I think we've got something going on. Tyrant though, amazing champion. He's got the ally protect with the increased defense. It just makes the other team like a brick wall. Um, then he's got AOE with HP burn. This is my one of my three to five most wanted champions on my main, if only because he would single-handedly just carry me to the, the spider finish line and hand me an Arbiter. Um, yeah, let's do this. Definitely not on auto. This will be our one battle. I'm not gonna go on a battle spree, I promise. Either we win or we win or we lose or we lose. Here we go, I know resists. Hopefully we land, I would love to land one on Tyrant here. So he's the only one we didn't land on, whatever. If we can kill Mashad, we'll be okay, no fear. Let's put the block debuffs up, make sure we get that up before Mashal gets a turn. Uh, let's see how hard we're gonna hit with our skull crown. Ooh, she is a slapper. And look at that, killed himself basically. He got a swift parry proc, but he just killed himself. Thank you to Brogny's thing right there. And there goes his swift parry, and this game is over. For sure it is. Brogny's awesome, man. I love Brogny, he's so good. I, uh, I, I, oh no, I thought I clicked A2. I couldn't be happy with Brogner. He's, he's a delight. I think a lot of us feel that way. He's just as good as it gets. He's really as good as it gets in the game. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been fastidious. You know, it's free to play, free to click. If you have yet to subscribe, consider doing so. Our subs have been down a lot lately. We normally are averaging maybe about four to five subs a day on normal days. And then we'll have like little bursts where we get, you know, 20, maybe 30 subs if a special episode comes out or something. We're at like one or two a day the past like week. Um, so if you're if you're watching this long, you can make that two or three a day. That could be you, baby. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Fast idiots.